We've been asked a lot about what we actually do. Is candy really all that we make? And what about the audience? And how does the shop work? And I would love to answer this question. My name is Ian, this is Annabelle. Hi. We've also got David, you can't really see him, he's off camera. And we have a whole bunch of people in here. So uh, many people. There are actually so many people so you can notice, my gosh. <laughs> Now, obviously we make candy and that's the center of what we do. And we've gotten pretty good at it over the 21 years we've been open. But there is a lot more to our business than just that. For 21 years now, we have been doing free candy making shows all day, every day. There is no need for our audience to pay or buy lollies, they can just watch. We answer questions, we tell jokes and we try to engage with our community as best we can. That's fair, that's fair. What flavor have you gone for? Is raspberry, raspberry lemonade. lemonade. Delicious. Very classic. Lemonade. It's kind of the like in my head like the default flavor. He's mm. like. And we didn't stop engaging with our community when the pandemic hit. Not at all. Sure, there was less foot traffic. Well, no foot traffic and no customers or audience in store. But that didn't mean that we were just candy making in silence. We started making our live streams and videos and that allowed everybody everywhere to possibly see what we did, not just people physically in store. Making videos and live streaming on all these different social media platforms meant we got to show the entire world what we did and the traditional art of candy making and that was amazing. We got to connect with new people from every continent and we got to show them what we did and why we found it so, so special. It was like having the same audience in store but you could connect with people all over the world. So now we get to show the whole world the joy of candy making, not just a little corner of Sydney, Australia. And some people still ask, doesn't the audience make you nervous? Uh, what we do, I, I hope sometimes we make it look easy and I hope that you guys make it look easy, but it's really not. It takes quite a long time. Constantly in awe of these guys. Alright, wrap it up then. How bad can go? Having an audience has never made me nervous, but on the other hand, not having an audience has made me nervous. My gosh, it's so quiet in the store when you have no customers and no food traffic. It's a ghost town. Having an engaged audience makes the job so much more fun. Getting to talk to new people and engage with them can lessen the sometimes monotonous candy making. It's the beauty of uh, sculpting stuff out of sugar. You never know, even once you put it together, you never know right until the end you pull it out. Whether it's going to anything like what you wanted it to look like. So thanks to the internet for allowing us to keep doing our candy making shows, to allow us to keep making it free and available, and for showing the world what candy making is. It's just been great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. Great. Good job. Thank you, Annabelle. Thank you, Ian. That's great right. job. Bit of a marathon. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching our YouTube video today. If you like what we do or want to see more of it or even just want to be notified when we go live, consider subscribing and hitting the bell when you subscribe so that you're notified when we go live. Thanks guys and I hope you enjoy the rest.